Well, 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 welcome back, 1,000 Pound Sisters, hot dog, brand new season, episode, still the episode one, but episode two from us. Yeah. Yeah, they're about to go visit Tammy in the hospital, and Amy's not going. Ooh, it's going to be dramatic. <laughs> mm -hmm. But before we get to that, of course, check out Dane on Buff Pro on YouTube and Twitch. Check out the Toasty Games channel for me if you want to see some live streams and some gameplay. Now let's watch 1,000 Pound Sisters. Uh-oh. So this is their new house. She got good parking. Yeah, she does. She's got like a lot of room back there. And there's all this room. And of course, they got the house. It's got the the vines literally growing out the front door. I don't think anyone lives there. If they do, yeah. they're getting into that window right there. Even though I'm kind of upset with Tammy, I'm still going to call her and talk to her. No, call her. All right. my hair. But I hope Tammy's in a good mood today because you never know what Tammy you're going to get. Oh, man. She's going to show her the hair. Like, look at my new hair. And she, and she's like, why aren't you coming to visit me? It's still sad that they, they still talk about that. You never know what time you're going to get, you know? Oh, God. Right. Let's see the toxicity. Oh, if she actually come up, are you going to come up? Go up? There ain't no <laughs> God, dang, I think I forgot Michael. Michael's the dude from freaking Waterboy. <laughs> 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 That's a long drive being pregnant, having a puke, and then pee. I know that. I can't argue about it because of it. We really do need two toilets. <laughs> like, yeah, I know you, you peeing all the time. I know, girl. God dang, get the, get the tub. I'm gonna see. The tub. Who you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how I do it. Right, you, know? you know, I just go hop in the tub when I got to. You know, there's the sink. You know, Yo. as long as it's a drain, right? Yo, in this apartment, man, we got one bathroom. All right. Oh man, oh, yeah, this house dude. that we're in. I got, I got this, this big old house here in Australia, right? There's one yeah. major problem with it. Besides the pond that I'm still fighting with is the water. I don't know if there's like a, a pipe is too small somewhere or the, the water pressure coming from the road. I had, a, I had a dude come out and check it. That's fine. But like if you're taking a shower and someone turns the water on, like the sink on downstairs, then like you get, you get like mm. half the water pressure and it gets cold all of a sudden. All the water in the house oh. is just like connected in such a way <laughs> that it's extremely annoying. And when my kids are older, we're going to have six people living in this Ooh. house. And I got to figure oh. out, I don't know. I got to figure out what to do. I don't know. There's like this little thing outside, like there's a little pipe. It says like filter on it or something. And then, and then I don't know if like if, I, if it's worth getting someone to try to hook up a bigger pipe for like the volume. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, it just seems like the plumbing in this house and good. And I'm suffering. Dang. It sucks. It's like, like Mary's brushing her teeth. Like, like I'm taking the shower. She's over there like brushing her teeth. She turns on the water to like spit cold water for me. And I'm like, stop <laughs> or turn it off. <laughs> <You're freezing me. laughs> it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So if we got any plumbers or anything in the, ch in, in the comment section, let me know what, what can I, what, what things do I need to look at? Uh, yeah. Cause uh, mm -mm. yeah, we need it. We're in a porta potty <laughs> being pregnant. You know what? My, he looking thinner too, by the way. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he looking, he looking a bit thinner. You want to call it Tammy? Let's surprise her with mommy's hairdo that you picked out like a big boy. All right, they're going to call her and do a reveal, face reveal. What are you doing? Oh. What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> Why are you looking like a doctor's character? <laughs> All right. Who's <laughs> so who's a who? Me. I don't think this is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss is black and white with a red bow, right? What? Huh? The cat in the hat? Oh, <laughs> She's talking about the cat, the in, the cat hat. in the hat. <laughs> Sam, I, Sam I am is oh. mad as... Oh, he's so mad right now. Dude, this just reminded me of like the comment section from the, from the last video that we did on Thousand Pound Sisters. <laughs> you know how like we like we were we're like, oh, they, they medically like they, they put people in comas. <gasps> and we were surprised Pikachu <laughs> face. People in the comment section yeah. could not believe <laughs> that we were not aware of this. I know. It was like those <laughs> those a comment that I actually replied to. They were like, "Man, Ken would be like, you know, he'd be like a uh, Sherlock Holmes the way he noticed stuff in the background." What's well, thank you? You know, I, I do pride myself on just like looking in the background, like literally just looking and being like, "Hey, that's weird." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then the replies to were like, "Yeah, but but he's really dumb. He doesn't. He didn't even know about like." Medically induced comas. What a what a moron! <laughs> what a complete idiot that didn't know about one thing that I probably didn't know about either. And I'm just like, my reply was, "Well, Sherlock Holmes, he ain't even real anyway. So get wrecked, haters. <laughs> Bam. He's fake. I'm real. I win." But what Robert Downey Jr. He wouldn't oh, fight man. like that either. I don't know. It just it just kind of made me crack up. Like it's just one of the reasons why I don't ever dig too far in the comments anyway, because there's always those people that are just like. 
you know, they're not, I'm not going to talk down on or anything more than I need to, but the people that are like, if you don't know something that they know, suddenly <laughs> they're, they're like, mm, yes, I am the superior intellect here. Mm, yeah. You didn't know about medically induced comas. Fool. <laughs> uh, you, you must live a very, not going to the hospital all the time and your family's healthy life. Yes, that's a, I've never had anyone to be put into a coma in my life. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I apologize, I didn't know. The hat is because I want to show you something. Look what I did. Yeah, the reveal. Why? Oh, no, can't nobody be happy for it in her life at all? Dang. No one's like, whoa. Everyone's just like, why? I mean, I'm tired of being an old brain. Oh, also, that reminds me too, Mary was watching the video and she was like, so you realize that this, that like her brown hair was just a really like it was a filter. Like they just put like a little like Instagram filter on her or something for it. Oh yeah. To, that's, to cover the, yeah. The reveal. Yeah. 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 And like she had, she apparently Mary said she had blue hair the whole time. And it was just like a, like a little like color filter thing on her hair. Ah. And I was like, because I was watching back through it also, like the edges of her hair were like blue. It looked like she was like kind of like sitting in front of a green screen, but it was just her hair sticking out, and like even the thing on the right. side of her head, you know. I was like, "What is that?" I gotta, I, gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta look for a second. Hang on a second. All right, so, uh oh, you investigating? Got a purple mark on the side of her head, and then these are straight, right? Then you go to this one. There's no purple mark. These are not straight. All right, and then you got this one. She's looking <laughs> wild. You got me, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good filter. I can lie. <laughs> I didn't stop the video more while I was watching it because I kept like noticing that it was like. Looked weird, but I was like, well, I've already talked about yeah. it. Whatever. I'll just let it play. But yeah, and now and Mary's like, yeah, it's like a hair, like a, like a, like one well, of those hair filters. And I was like, wow, hmm. maybe I am an idiot. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know about to medically induce comas and Instagram <laughs> hair filters on TLC shows. <laughs> and hair filters. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm serious. You look like a peacock. I don't care. Amy's loud anyway. Not going to lie. Hair made it. She kind of does look like a peacock. She's a peacock. <laughs> She's not wrong. Got it up. Yeah, she's flaring out. She's loud anyways, but that hair made her even louder. Loud with her hair, loud with her mouth, <laughs> loud with her butt. Dang. <laughs> Number one most loud. Everybody just Amy hater, man. They all hating. Man. They all hating. Yeah, oh, the question. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is morning uh -oh. sickness. I can't be too far from the bathroom. When you don't come in to see me. Look at her. She's depressed now. We ain't coming uh -oh. to see me. Well, I'm over here working hard. Come on, see me. She's about to flip the switch. It's She's going to start cussing around. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Look at her. Breaking her heart. You ain't coming to see me. I, I, do, I told her. <laughs> yep. I know Chris and Amanda are coming up to see you, but I just can't right now. We just got to get feeling better, basically. I mean, <laughs> look at that look. She's looking at her, too, like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, so you're not coming to see me. Well, I'll be coming to see you soon when you leave. Yeah, expect it. <laughs> yeah very soon. <laughs> I, I don't know how far away. I think she's pretty far away, and I, I'm I'm on Amy's side on this one. I understand Tammy wants to be able to come see her because you know she's out there doing her thing. But Amy being pregnant and taking your kid, you know, driving far away, nah, it's it's yeah. it's it sucks. And Tammy needs to be considerate there. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, you know a little bit. Tyrese One week later, okay. it's been about a month or so since Tammy <laughs> Amy in the car <laughs> driving to we see, Tammy. see Tammy in person. Uh, I think this is them pulling up to visit her. Dude, these are the most monster drinking family. <laughs> you know, they're southern, all right? You got your monster energy <laughs> drink, you got your overall zone, you get your, but yeah, they're ready. You got the, the car heart. Yep, yep, oh, yep, yep. Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you know, as much as we crack jokes about these people, there's a high probability that <laughs> we, we don't that we may run into them one day locally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared. I always expect the worst and hope for the best. <laughs> That's Chris's opinion of Tammy right there. Perfect. <laughs> expect yeah. the worst, hope for the best. He just goes in. <laughs> well, here we go. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> you guys can have a seat right there, and we're letting you know when you're able to go back. Okay. Now, why are they going to? Can they sweep the floor in this place? That's like a whole, like a whole bug. This is like what the third, fourth near death experience, and this bitch has a bad attitude about being up here. Mm. I'm about to cuss her out. Dang, he about to get her. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> I love how he went through that. He's like, look, this is like her fourth time almost dying. But if she's got a bad attitude, it's going to be a fifth time. 
<laughs> there gonna be no almost. <laughs> like they just come in and just ready to fight. It's got a bad attitude. I'm I'm probably just gonna let her know. I'm gonna tell her the truth. This Jeez, is what the hell man. we saw. She's, you know, she, yeah, she was in a coma on life support. We're coming to visit her for the first time, but if she's got an attitude, put her back on life support. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what it feels like when the doctor says, are you willing to sign a do not resuscitate on your little sister? Mm, okay, so they're, they're going at the, uh, you know what you did to us angle. Okay. Everyone's mm, the victim here. Yeah. So everyone's be mad because it's about them. Gotcha. She's got to get it together. Ain't no choice. Because mentally, us, if it'll break us as a family if we continue. Oh, they're doing the reality TV thing to where like this is the do or die moment. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's our last chance at love. <laughs> the last chance <laughs> of having a family. <laughs> this is it. Holy oh my gosh! Cut away. Yep, classic. Chris nope. and I are up there in rehab to see Tammy. Look at that. Tammy, Tammy don't even look at him right now. <laughs> wow. You don't even look at him. I think she's half asleep because she got one eye open. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to walk to the other side of the bed to visit her. <laughs> she sleeps with one eye open. Seeing her laying there and she's got a trach in her throat. <laughs> she's half asleep. What are they talking about? She turned and like looked right at. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> they were like, hey, pretend you're asleep when they walk in. And she's like, okay. a whole lot to process. Now she's awake. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was going to say, like, why, are they, why are they even like doing this whole she's asleep thing? Like, why? Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm glad they didn't keep they doing it. They walk in the room and go, holy crap. Yeah, holy crap. She's asleep. <laughs> she's, she's half asleep <laughs> slash awake. Okay. Also half awake. <laughs> I was thinking about this uh, yesterday, actually, about how I feel like a lot of these shows, like uh, specifically like Big Ed, even Thousand Pound Sisters, is kind of like losing its... It's starting to seem too staged to enjoy because right. I, I was watching uh right. i was watching a buddy of mine stream and he was actually like going back and watching like the old big ed stuff the old big ed stuff seemed like he was legitimately just an idiot and then turned into like this bad guy and he was like you know gaslighting you and like oh you know i got these pictures and you were trying to do all this stuff and just like you do you remember that the, the tell-all when like big ed and his daughter just like literally gaslit her and like lie and it was awful it was like awful <laughs> yeah. Hence my response to the comments that keep saying like Ken's just misunderstanding Rose. Like if you rem if you remember watching that, there's like no way that Rose would ever speak to him again after all that. Anyway, ever um, but, surprising a band from the country. <laughs> yeah, and so like like they got like all the the like we'll use the tell all specifically uh, from Night Day Fiance. They ha they talk to people. They get to like where everything's heating up, and then they stop and they send them to a party to where they can go mingle with each other and like, right. and, and, and like, it's just like so incredibly, it, it just feels too fake now. Uh, now with, with thousand pound sisters, obviously they can't fake the health stuff. Right. But it's right. like, they still try to like create the drama. Like, 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 well just, it's a very simple thing, but like the thing she's asleep, she's obviously not asleep at all. The walking uh, in. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of that, like, yeah. you know, our family's going to fall apart. No, no, they're not. Like, no, that's going to happen. Like, it's like they're, it's just like, it's like they're trying too hard is what it feels like to me. Right. And it does, it's right. not like we still, we're still making videos and it's still interesting content, but it's not as enjoyable as a viewer as it used to be when it didn't feel like maybe it was even more fake. It just seemed more believable at the time. Anyway, that's my what, the producers changed. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, huh. Maybe. Yeah. I think they're, they're focusing too much on the drama of it and not the believability of it. In my right. opinion. Anyway, right. yeah, that just another rant for me. That's just kind of my opinions on if you're watching TLC, that's just as, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm in this stuff, man. I'm in it, and I hate it. But uh, it's just, this uh, feels to me. I brought you something. No, unicorn. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what happened? She's over there, like, oh, unicorn. Yes, yes. She can't speak now. What happened? Dang, does it hurt when you take that stuff off? No. Oh, now she's healed. Okay, she's good now. There we go. Oh, cat. Oh, you can't talk without it. No, I can't. Oh, maybe that's okay. Oh, I got you. Maybe that's why she had the wheezy voice. She didn't have her have her stuff ready. All wait, right. wait. I, I don't understand. Why? Is the, how does the cap stop? Well, I stop you from talking. Uh, I think the way. Let's see here. 
the air has to pass over your vocal cords, right? Isn't that how your vocal cords work? Oh yeah, when I you, guess so. When you sp- it, okay, this may be real dumb, <laughs> but this is this. As a kid, I remember one of our teachers like explaining it to us, and this is how it's told to me a long time ago in the South: is that whenever you speak, you're kind of opening up your vocal cords, and the air goes over them, and then like you flex them to like what the pitch is going to be, right? Uh, yeah. and so I guess when you have a trach, that the air, you know, it's under it, so it comes out there, and it's not, you know, and you kind of get it like that right there because you're not really getting the air over your voice box. Ah, you know? yeah, okay. That makes sense. Is that how it works? You know, medical that, people? Yeah, that makes sense. People that, people that actually know anything about the real world. I mean, look, look, guys, I quit college to become a YouTuber, so don't expect me to know what I'm talking about. That's just my opinions. <laughs> when I take my passive valve off, if I can't, talk at all oh man you ain't even trying don't lie to me i, I don't even hear i don't even hear the coming out when you're trying to put yeah whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 well i mean maybe true though but anyway lose weight you got to get your trait taken out hopefully someday um but the main thing is to just focus on getting your strength back and walking and you know i feel like everything she says comes from a good place but it's like the the person in your family that's always given you unsolicited advice that you didn't ask for. God. They just have the answer to everything in your life, and you're just like, stop. Right. All I gotta do is just lose Jeez. all this weight that I've been struggling with food addiction for. You're right. Let me just let me just let me just lose that. You know. <laughs> let me, let me just, Done. The more you talk to me, the less I want to do it. Weirdly enough. <laughs> right. Uh, like I said, I think it just comes from a, a good place, but it's just like she. she Every time that she's talking to Tammy, it's always the same thing. You got, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this. As a normal person, only cheats death once. <laughs> you ain't. You're damn right, you're not. Yeah, I know three or four times you done cheated. Death. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you ain't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look at you. Obviously, <laughs> you're not the norm. Robbing death. Uh, <laughs> no, death over here, just like me, mad. It's like, God, dang it, fourth yeah. time. Dang it. I told y'all when y'all see me again. I wasn't gonna be that same person. She's changed. She's changed. She's changed. She's changed. Tammy's <laughs> changed, man. She's changed. You feel like you're finally doing this because you want it, and not because we're pressuring you to. Uh, it sounded like a lot of pressure, even in the question. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that surgery. She getting that surgery. <laughs> Chris, I'm like, no. Nah, wow. No, nah, you, like, nah, you ain't. No, you ain't. Tammy wanted me. To bring flowers for all some of the nursing staff that have been taking care of her. Actually, we enjoy <laughs> taking care of Tammy. We really do. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> She's changed, man. She's changed. <laughs> we like taking care of Tammy, huh? <laughs> Excuse me? How are you feeling? Well, are they about to exercise Tammy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right she's hurting less now she's already pushing yeah there she goes let's try maybe six to ten feet just do your best okay all right well, they got the measuring stick too all right oh i thought <laughs> i thought she just ripped a big one when she stood up <laughs> keep going there's ten Great job, Amy. That's it. That's it. All right. Okay. There she goes. She's moving. Oh, Dr. Smith. All right. She's working hard. Dr. Smith is coming to see her. Anything I have to do. They actually interviewed her, like, at another time and not just the same same sitting. Yeah, all right. Exciting. Oh, I used to have one of these right here. These big old, big old, big gulps. Oh, yeah. High five. Yay. This is time for me to live. Find me a spouse. One day, maybe. Well, she'll get married? Start a career. Go shopping. Dang. Go shopping, too. All right. She's going to get married, have a career, go shopping. All right. Well, I mean, she's got a right. she's got a reality TV career already, you know. But I mean, we know she got married. They haven't covered it in the thing yet. But, you know, on the, the TikToks and stuff, we made a video about it that she got married. So, yeah, that's coming for sure. My mother-in-law was gracious enough to ask us if she can watch Gage overnight. So me and Daddy could spend some time alone. But with this pregnancy, I just want to eat. Uh oh! Remember back to the last. Caught it right. Back to the last episode, I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Her, this is Tammy. Uh, Amy's the one falling off the bandwagon, blaming the pregnancy. Uh, hey, look. I mean, it's true though. Like when you when you have that when you got that baby in there, you want to eat. Mm hmm. Listen, man. I, <laughs> I'm gonna blame my weight gain on my kids. Right. Every kid we have, I gain ten pounds. Okay. Uh, yo. 
<laughs> when, when the lady's pregnant, it almost it almost hits me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's this, they call it the sympathy weight or whatever. But it's like, all right, so your 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 baby mama, she's hungry and she wants to eat the food, so you get her the food. But then she wants you to eat the food too, so that she doesn't feel bad about herself. <laughs> So you have to eat the food. <laughs> you have to. Oh yeah, you have to definitely. Be the enabler, not because right? <laughs> I ain't gonna look at that food and not eat oh, that, some oh, myself. That, that too, that's know? part of it. Like that's me. Like I'm like, oh, you want something? <laughs> I want something too. Cool. But then like, if, then if like, there's been a couple of times where I'm like, I don't really want anything, and she's like, but I want ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I'll have some ice cream, I guess. Now, I've talked about this before, but uh, whenever Mary's like going through like being hungry during the pregnancy. She sounds like me talking about food. <laughs> and I'm like, now you know how I feel all the time. <laughs> I must be a pregnant lady. Like, that's just, <laughs> I'm just. I was still, I was still like, you know, when Amber was pregnant, I was still like, You're, you know, you want some ice cream, don't you? <laughs> like, <laughs> don't you do, don't you? Right. She's like, well, yeah. Yeah, yo, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I was still the one bringing it up. <laughs> and then, come here and say what you need. Some food, I'm hungry. I craved Chinese fried rice with strawberry syrup, huh? or pizza with garlic powder and dill pickles. What? She puts dill pickles on her pizza. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Did she put, like, strawberry syrup on her stir fry? What did she just say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, me and Mary about to have our fourth kid, and she ain't never won nothing weird like that it's it's been specific things that make sense not i just want to mix a bunch of crap together it's all over the place like are you confused what like you want a buffet don't be blaming all that on the baby okay i mean i know you're hungry and everything but yeah i feel like you're letting some old tendencies get loose she's gonna need an yeah. she's gonna have to have her intervention oh no they're gonna be like look girl you gotta get back on the boat oh no hey Oh, you want yeah, why are they even like blurring this out like I don't know what all this is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the purple bag, like, baby. I see it. I can't it. tell I that's a it. purple bag mm. of Doritos. That's the best, mm, the best Ooh, flavored Doritos in God. existence. Purple mm. bag. That sweet chili. Mm, 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 so good. The best. Mm. That is not the right kind. <laughs> Take it back. Take it oh, back. The red kind. The red okay. kind. What do you get? He's trying to get the blue kind. Ah, hmm. oh, yeah. Nobody wants the cool ranch. Is he actually going up to the. the well, first off, they're parked in front of the front door, so. Wow. You know, they got. <laughs> you already know they got. They, this whole thing is staged because they ain't no parking spot <laughs> yeah. right in front of the. They're literally blocking it off from other people coming. Anyway, okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Whatever. It's like, how long does it take you to get a bag of chips and some cheese? Oh, girl, girl, you wanted him to go back and get things like four times? What are you talking about? Over there complaining with you not getting up self. <laughs> oh. Cheese whiz. Oh. Oh, no. That hit the spot. That hit the spot. Oh. Oh, boy. She's off the rails, Dane. She's off the rails. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she is. Raggedy Ann's possessed her. <laughs> Freaking, they got the light on back here now, so now I can see him a little better. <laughs> It's like, I feel like I just watched like someone addicted to drugs, like in their car, they like, I got the stuff and hand it to me. It's like, got to hit it, you know? That's what I feel like I just watched right there. My weight loss, uh, getting down to 150 and not worrying about being morbidly obese. But you know what? We'll worry about that when time comes. Mm. Hey, let's go home. Can you get the surgery twice? Mm. She's gonna, you know, I don't know, but I highly doubt it. You know, how many times can they cut your stomach in half? Oh my gosh. I ain't gonna poop for a month. Probably Dude, she talked about last time how she didn't poop for like a long time. This is why, because she's eating this cheese like that. It all makes sense now. It's all <laughs> coming around. Why do I have to crave that makes me constantly? Look, they, I mean, they, I think they're doing pretty good, you know. Michael's over here wearing his Carhartt shirt. You know, they're, you know, Car yeah. Carhartt's like a, like a fancy brand now. It used to be, used to be like, you know, your work <laughs> clothes, but now it's like, I mean, they're expensive. <laughs> Stuff's not cheap. Like last time I looked, anyway. That's true. Getting her ready for bed. Yeah. All right. Are you ready right. to go on your bed? Sliding right, on night, in. Tammy. Putting Tammy to bed. Go to sleep. Leaving the camera crew in the room with you while you sleep. Okay. All right. She's asleep. Asleep. This is a long black screen day and something bad's about to happen. <laughs> yeah. 3 a.m. Oh, oh no! Oh, 3 a.m. We got the life of luxury videos is happening. This some something scary is happening. Today. <laughs> <laughs> this is when the demons come out. That's a terrible time to wake uh -oh, up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Beep beep beep. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Uh -oh. What is happening? Are you okay? Are you okay? Huh? 
Wow. All right. What's, what's happened here? Look, uh, okay. 309 the 10 patient monitor signal life threatening emergency. It was so life threatening that the other nurse that was sitting beside her didn't even look like she cared. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. Your turn. Tammy was no longer breathing. Uh oh. Medical staff soon discovered that a blockage in Tammy's trach was preventing her from receiving. Oh, she got blockage. Like, look, like she's in here not breathing. Everyone else is in here just like. So, anyway. Uh, and the only thing I can remember is panicking. Trying not to panic, but I couldn't breathe. No, I mean, you can't and breathe. Taking a time, but there really wasn't. Yeah, I'm sure, like, if you're in that situation and you can't breathe, time slows down. Uh, like, I've had the breath knocked at me before. Like, I got hit in the stomach and I was like, <laughs> and I couldn't breathe in. And I swear to God, I was like, I. I <laughs> What was that? Uh, the JoJo Bizarre, you know, stop time, uh, the the world, or you know, everything. And I was like, Ugh. sat there for like a good thirty minutes. I swear, if I could take a breath, at least in my mind. <laughs> but in reality, yeah. seconds have passed by. It's just like uh, oh, that's a terrible feeling. It's just like you know, planking. You know, if you if you want to slow down time, just do a plank. You know, just just get a, oh, <laughs> do the exercise. Sorry. You know, just just do a plank for a minute. Longest minute of your life. Longest yeah. minute ever ever experienced. <laughs> It's terrifying the not knowing what could happen next. All right. So that's the end of that episode. That's the end. So I guess this season is going to be like a, focused on how poor health Tammy's in and like how she's, she's killing over and Amy falling off the bandwagon. And the only one that's going to be yeah. doing anything right is Chris. <laughs> Chris and Gage. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay toast, my friends. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye-bye. I'm hungry.